Are you looking for ways to boost your sales and grow your business on Etsy? In this video, I will show you how to connect your Etsy store to your WooCommerce store and take your sales to the next level. Hi guys, this is Bully. In this easy to follow tutorial, you will be able to streamline your sales process and your potential customers won't be able to see your competitors' products on your store's product page. All right, with that being said, let's get started. All right, guys, before you can link your Etsy store to your WooCommerce store, you need to have two things set up first. Number one, you have to have an Etsy store ready. And number two, you have to have a WooCommerce WordPress store ready too. I am not going to walk you through how to set up an Etsy store in this tutorial. If you haven't got that done yet, as for the WooCommerce store, if you haven't set it up yet, I have a tutorial link in my description box below for you to check out. Next, you need to log into your Etsy store and your WordPress dashboard. All right, open up your favorite browser and go to Etsy.com. Click sign in at the top right corner and select whatever method you want to sign in here. I am going to sign into my account real quick. And this is my dashboard. And over here is my store that I set up real quick, linking to my Printify store. All right, let's go back to my WordPress website or blog. Let's click right here. This is the dashboard. You don't need to set up WooCommerce to link your Etsy store to your WordPress website. You don't need it. All right, both of them are locked in. First, we need to add a new page in WooCommerce store. Click Add New. and then give it a title here. This page will be for the short code of the plugin of the Etsy shop plugin that we are going to add later on in this tutorial. Once you're done, you could save it as a draft or publish it. Let's get out of here. Next, click plugins. We're gonna install a plugin to connect to the Etsy shop. Click Add New at the top of the page and type Etsy Shop in the search box on the right side of the page. And there it is. That is the plugin that we're gonna install for this tutorial. It is called Etsy Shop. So far, there are not many options as of right now, except for this plugin that at least it has over 6,000 active installations. Just click the Install Now button. Once done, click the Activate button. All right, scroll down to find the plugin. It is right there. It's up to you if you want to enable the auto update feature right here. Just click it right there if you want to. You could click on the link that is called settings right here to go to the Etsy shop settings or it is under the settings right here, Etsy shop right there. Just click it. Here's all the options for the Etsy shop plugin. And if you haven't had any API key, just have to create a new one with the Etsy shop. Just click the link right there. It will direct us to your Etsy store's API page. Enter the name for your app right here. Next, enter the description of your application. And the next box is for the website URL. And answer some of the questions right here. If you're selling, just select the seller tools. For the next question, who will be the users of this application? You could select just myself or colleagues. And the next question is that, is your application commercial? I just select no because I am not charging anybody to use this application. And the last one, will your app do any of the following? 
I just select the uh, upload or edit listings option. Then just click, I am not a robot. And then you have to click right here to read all the terms of the app. And scroll down. You could take your time to read whatever you want here. A lot of time, we're not spending enough time to read all the five prints. And then just click this checkbox and then click the create app button right there. Now that is your API key right there, but it is not approved yet. So you have to come back here again later on just to check if it is approved. And that is the key. And then make sure you copy that key string right there. And then go back to your WordPress blog. Go back to the Etsy shop and then just paste the API key right there in that box. Don't forget to click the save changes button at the bottom. While we waiting for the API key to be approved, let's add the newly created page to our main menu. It is right here, the Etsy shop, and then click the add to menu right here. And then I am going to drag it under the shop menu. Click right here to expand it. Next, I am going to add an icon to the menu. Just click the select here. Okay, it looks good. Then just click the save menu button. And let's go back to the front end to see the result. And the shop menu is right here. And yep, that is the page that we plan to add the short code of the SC plugin. All right, guys, my API key is approved, but it took SC four business days just to approve my API key. I think it's a little too long. Oh, well. All right, next, just click this link to expand it. And right here, we are going to search for our Etsy store and click the search button. Next, you should be able to see the table for your items or your section. In this case, I haven't set up any sections in my Etsy store yet. So let's get back to the Etsy store and select all the items. Click editing options and select the last selection, change section. Right now, I have no sections added to my store yet. Click Manage Sections. Click Add Section. Enter a name for your section right here. Let's add Office Supplies for now. Click Save or Save Changes if you update it. And then click the X icon to close the box. And then let's click the editing options again and click that option again. Okay, it's right here, Office Supplies, and click the Apply button. All right, I have two of my listings aside under my Office Supplies section. Let's go back to the dashboard. Refresh your WordPress blog, and here it is. This is the section of my Office Supplies, and this is the short code that we need to copy. All right, let's go back to the new page of your WordPress blog that we created earlier and paste the short code right here. And then click the update button or the publish button. And let's go to the front end to see the result. Refresh it. Here are my items. Um, I have only two so far, so they kind of don't look good. If you have four, it might look better. And let's go back to the page again. There is another parameter. It's called limit that we could add. For example, if you have like uh, more than 20 items, but you want to limit the display product just to leave what, like 10 products, you could add it right here. In this case, I'm going to add only one to show you guys how it's gonna look like. The limit parameter is to display products ordered by their titles alphabetically. 
Once everything looks good, just click the update button and refresh the page right here. And you see the limit parameter that I want to display to list only one item, just one. So, okay, let's change to 10 as of right now. You're not going to see 10 listing items on my page. It's just an example. And when we click right here, it will get you out of your WordPress blog and go directly to that product page right here. If you go back to the settings of the plugin again, if you select that box, so your customers will be able to still see your WordPress blog as well as another window of your Etsy store. All right, guys, by the way, if you haven't installed a web security badge to your WordPress blog to make it more secure yet, check out this video next. I hope your day is absolutely fantastic wherever you are. I can't wait to catch you in my next video. Take care and bye for now.